Hello everyone, welcome back to Southern Delight. Today I have a special guest with me, my dear friend Kaden, and she is going to show us how to make a gnome village. And uh, what we've done here is we've arranged a little village, and we're going to show you guys how to make these little gnomes. Here's our little gnome village that we've got going on here. And here we've got a little gnome with his dog. If y'all can see that, we got some Christmas presents all in there and some snow. But she is going to give us a quick tutorial on how to make Christmas gnomes. Using Sculpey Oven Bake Polymer Clay to do these gnomes, I've already done two large versions of these. One's a boy and one's a girl. Now, first thing you'll have to do you will have to have a, a sphere skin color and kind of smush it at one side where it will be more like a teardrop shape. Now you need to make the body. I use gray to do it. I'm using a dark gray right now. You can use dark or light gray. But, once again, I will start with a sphere shape, and I will make it into a cylinder, and kind of smush it where it's more of a small shape. Now, only on one end this time, you are going to Smush it, smush it on the top to make kind of a body shape. Now what we need to do is make the hat. I'm going to need to make... I always start with a sphere shape and, and then I work with whatever shape I need to make. Right now, I'm going to make it into a triangle and make sure that there is a point at the end. And this clay is pretty easy to work with, isn't it? Yeah, right now my red is not. And what my red, as you can see, it's kind of tough. If you want to fix that, you just kind of knead it. What kneading is, is where you have your clay, you put it on the thing and you kind of push it in a forward motion, fold it over and push it again and just continuously do that. Now, I might have to wash my hands after using this red because as you can see, it stains very much. All right, I'm going to have to show them your rolling it and blending. Almost got stuck. Sometimes I use my fingers for this part. And just now it if it sticks like it almost just did I usually use this tool and just slide it under there and it comes right up now I didn't grab a big enough dotting tool so if you have a bigger dotting tool than this that would be better for what I'm trying to do here. I'm just going to use my fingernail and kind of push it outwards. Now, I don't know if you can see, but there is a line right there on it. So, if that's showing, it's not going to look as good as it would. 
but you can do yours however and whatever color. I might do one with this pink, but right now I have the hat, and even in that you might think you would need a flat surface, you, would, you might need to kind of push it down a little bit. What I'll need to do is kind of shape my nose how I want it. I, I like it where it's more of a circle shape. And like I said, it would be better if you washed your hands after using red, but I'm not going to do that right now. Now, I'm going to pick what side I want to be the front, in my opinion, I want this to be the back since it has a little bit of green on it accidentally. I'm going to make this right here the front and choose where I want to place it and where it would look the best. I think I need to make a larger nose though. So. A good thing about this tool, it doesn't have to be, you don't have to have a flat surface right that second to cut it. If you need, you can and hold it up in the air and just turn your creation. Now I'm going to put it right there and right now it doesn't really matter but so it will stay in place more I will use this part and roll down so it will stay better. I'll kind of lift this up a little bit and get a small piece make a really thin string of it and stick it right there. Now I can put it back down and it should stick really well now. I'm going to shape my body how I want it. This will only take but a few seconds, although I've already shaped it many times. I'm going to make the body a tiny bit smaller where the nose area is so it doesn't look so much of a large body. I'm going to set it on the ground right this second to see how I want it to sit down. So I think if I got it right here. bend it in what uh, to me kind of looks like a taco shape. So now that you have your shape you will just put it on there wherever desired and this one might have a couple more accessories so it looks to me like the hat needs a little trimming at the ends, just a tiny bit though. So to make it where instead of it, it being kind of rigid, for it to be really smooth, I usually use this, the bead tool. Now I will flatten out the ends. And I will use the sharp end this time instead of the instead of the flat end. And I'll just very slowly 
cut the parts I want. I seem like it takes a long time to do this, but really, if you're, you're focusing on it enough, you will be able to do it in no time at all. Pick which side I want it to be, and I just put it down. I ain't no. <laughs> I will find any mistakes will be easy to fix if you have one of these. Like for example, I have a few fingerprint marks. That's fine because this thing can be very. And then from there, you can kind of personalize it to whatever yeah. you want. Like I see on this one, you have little bows that you made. I even put a ball on the hat. I even made it where it was like a little Santa hat. There's so, a little girl. She's made a little Christmas tree here and put a Christmas star on top of it. The only thing made out of clay on this is the Christmas star. Now on this, it's just wood as those are standing on. And then right here, what do we have? A little Christmas gift. All Chihuahua, and she is this blonde color. So I'm gonna make a little Chloe. This is Chloe. <laughs> She's been in our family for about 12 years now, but she is a Chihuahua, and we're gonna make a gnome Chihuahua. How about that? <laughs> Come here. Yeah. She's a little shy. Brown clay. And we're going to use the same technique that Caden showed us here for the Scotty. We're going to put its little head. We rolled it up and pinched it off. We need a little gray for the nose. I used this same tool. Cut a bunch of tiny little pieces. So you're actually cutting little strips? Um, not, not really. Okay. Not deep enough to be that, but kind of. I'm going to take this and draw some little lines. Give her some mm -hmm. texture in there. <laughs> we'll use the pointy side and make some little ears. And while she's doing that, I'm going to make Is there oh my goodness, we need a little tail now. Yeah. Is that what you're doing? A little tail? Mm-hmm. Now or we can sculpt one. Let's just sculpt one in the back. Here. here. Okay. Now really it doesn't matter which direction you do it in, but the hint to make it look like a gnome-ish dog, at least, is get a little bit of the clay and put it along where the ears are. We got a little gnome Chloe. <laughs> oh, how cute is that? Now let's put the dogs side by side and give them an, an owner to walk them. Perfect. Oh. This but one. this is so much fun, and you can create just about anything. I mean, just let your imagination go, and you can just take the clay and sculpt it out and make your own little village, and then just add to it. We use some little Christmas ornaments that we had from prior years and put some cotton down on a plate and hot glued it and made all of this. But, um, All right, everyone, that's concluding it for today. Let's give Caden a big hand. <laughs> she has done wonderful. And subscribe, and uh, that way you can continue following me. And I have lots of other things lined up for Christmas. And um, I'm thinking about if you'll come back, we'll invite you back to show us how to make some jewelry out of this clay. Next time, see ya. Bye.